Hey guys, if any of you saw my Lazy Nazumi video the other week, um, you probably know that I'm pretty terrible at line art, um, but it's something I'd like to be able to do. Um, and I tried the Lazy Nazumi product in Photoshop, uh, as it's the program I use the most. Um, I didn't really like it so much, I didn't feel it did anything different. Uh, so in this video I'm just going to be comparing using Photoshop and Manga Studio, specifically Photoshop CS6 and Manga Studio 5 I think it is. So if you did see that last video, you'll probably notice I'm inking over the exact same face. Um, again, starting in Photoshop using one of the standard preset brushes, which is a pressure sensitive one. And this time I'm using a size 15 brush and I'm doing this a little bit bigger than in the last video. And I'm going to keep the same size brush when it goes to Manga Studio 5 as well. It's fair to say that I'm not very good at line art as well. It's not something I do very often, but I will say that using Photoshop in comparison with other programs um, when it comes to line art it just it feels like the the pressure sensitivity doesn't seem to work so well um, so I struggle with like creating different line weight and such and just generally inking in Photoshop my lines just feel fat and messy it's the only way I can think to describe it so I've taken that same sketch now into Manga Studio 5 and again this time I'm using a size 15 G pen and straight away with the first few lines I'm not sure how noticeable it is but it, it feels smoother, it feels nicer, it's a bit more satisfying to use for your line art and the pressure sensitivity seems to work a lot better and work the way that you know you would expect it to. This isn't me saying uh, don't use Photoshop for inking, um, you know I, lots of people are good at using it, I, I wish I was but for whatever reason I'm terrible at it and just switching over to using Manga Studio um, like I'm doing now it was just a lot better and I, I felt the result was a hell of a lot better. Um, I'll put an image up at the end so that you can compare them directly and see what you think. It is also you know, worth noting that Photoshop is a lot more expensive as well. So if you are actually after you know, line work, if you do comics or manga or anything like that, or just prefer line work anyway, you're probably actually better off with Manga Studio than Photoshop. Um, I haven't really learnt to paint in Manga Studio though yet, so for me I'm still using um, Photoshop a lot more. But the layout and things is pretty much the same and uh, you know I've heard the same with like Coral Painter and um, Paint Tool SI I think it's called. Apparently they're good for line art too. So that's pretty much it. Please make sure that you're watching this in full HD, uh, full screen if you wanted to actually compare the results that are on screen now. For me if I had to say I would say Manga Studio was definitely better for the line art and hopefully um, the results on screen speak for themselves. But I still use Photoshop for everything else. But you know let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscription button at the bottom of the screen. You can also see some of my other videos by clicking the video links on screen now. Links to my Facebook and DeviantArt can be found in the description box. Thanks for watching.